All right, y'all. So one of the most popular questions I've been getting ever since the whole BitForex um, exchange going down and stuff like that has happened and all the news has started to come out is how can I still purchase the OMI token? So shout out to everybody still interested in the OMI token. You still have your conviction. You want to get right back on the horse immediately. Shout out to y'all. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, but make sure you all are being safe. Make sure you mitigate your risk. Make sure you're not over leveraging yourself, um, trying to rush back in too soon. Or, or if you're just looking to buy OMI, like, cause and you weren't impacted, then yeah, th this video is gonna help you do that as well. But if you have been impacted and you're looking to get back in already, I mean, you're savage, but I mean, I would probably do the same thing to be honest. With, with the same level of conviction, I, I would probably get something, maybe not up to the point where, you know, I was previously at, but I would definitely probably jump back in if I was in a position to. So yeah, shout out to y'all. So this video is going to be covering just that, where you can buy the OMI token, and how exactly step-by-step step, you can buy the OMI token. I was going to completely do it myself, but it's already a very well put together video that goes over this. So we're just going to be checking that out and giving this a little bit more exposure. So if you didn't know, you can actually buy the OMI token through Coinbase. Now, um, it's technically Coinbase wallet, but still Coinbase. It's not technically Coinbase, but it's Coinbase. It's really affiliated with Coinbase. It's their platform. So. Yeah, this video is going to show you all how to do that exactly. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's just jump straight into the video, y'all. Hello, guys, and welcome to CryptoKit Guru. If you have an account on Coinbase and also a Coinbase wallet, and you want to buy OMI, then you are at the right spot here. I will explain you step by step how to buy OMI a Comi with your Coinbase wallet. So let's get started, guys. As you can see, we have three steps. Number one is to buy Ethereum to cover the network fees. Number two is buy the USDC amount that you want to buy OMI for. And number three is then to change the USDC amount for OMI. Yeah, so USDC, it, I'm assuming that it's probably cheaper than buying with Ethereum. I always just go straight through Ethereum, like even regardless of the fees, because if you've cashed out of the VV app, like you know how these fees be hitting anyway. So. And then I'm always usually in very high returns anyway. So like I, I turn a very little to a lot usually. So the fees is like, it's still, even with the fees, it's still a crazy amount. So it's like, uh, I'm used to heavy fees with this project. It's just a part of the project, the, the, it being so new and early and the opportunity because it's still a great opportunity. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot more difficult to identify value these days, but you know, anyway, um, I, I usually just go straight from Ethereum straight to the OMI token, but it, it is probably cheaper to go not to not go the Ethereum route and to use the USDC and just get the Ethereum for the fees. Actually, we will do all steps in the Coinbase wallet itself, but to better understand what's going on in the Coinbase wallet, we also want to visualize it. So what you can see here are step number one and two. We buy the USDC amount that we want to buy OMI for, and also we want to buy Ethereum for the network fees. In the third step, we then swap the USDC amount for OMI. Coinbase is actually doing that in the background on a decentralized exchange on the Ethereum network. That is why we need Ethereum for. So let's start with number one, buy Ethereum to cover the network fees. So in your Coinbase wallet, you click on buy and then type in Ethereum. Then you buy probably um, an amount of 50 US dollar or 50 euro to cover the network fees. Make sure you are on the Ethereum network and click confirm. Then in step number two, we want to buy the amount in USDC that you want to buy in OMI. So what we do is we click on buy again and then we type in USDC. Then you type in the amount you want to buy and you click on purchase. Check again that you are on the Ethereum chain and you click confirm. Then after refresh, you should see the amount in your Coinbase wallet. In case the amount does not appear after one hour or longer time in your Coinbase wallet, it could be that the amount is on your Coinbase exchange instead of your Coinbase wallet. So what you want to do then is you want to transfer the amount from your Coinbase exchange into your Coinbase wallet. Therefore, you click on receive. Then you click receive from Coinbase. 
and if the amount you bought appears there then it is on your exchange instead of your wallet so you want to transfer from your exchange to your wallet that is what we do here and again make sure you are on the ethereum chain and then you should refresh and it should appear on your wallet so next in step three we switch the usdc amount into um, therefore again make sure you have the usdc amount and also some ethereum on your coinbase wallet to switch into omi so next click on swap and then on the left side we have usdc and on the right side we search for omi or ecomi Then we type in the amount we want to swap and we make sure we are on the Ethereum chain. Then we click confirm and then you can check out the network fees for Ethereum. So that was it already. So we swapped USDC for OMI and after some refreshing we should see the ECOMI or OMI amount in our Coinbase wallet. Yeah, so as you can see it's actually very easy to swap the swap your OMI tokens, um, well, swap swap the um, USDC for OMI. Uh, like I said, I usually go straight from Ethereum, which is probably more expensive now that I think about it. But um, yeah, like I usually take that route, but it's not, it's not that complicated at all. It's a very straightforward, simple process. What you will want to do um, is definitely, even though it's Coinbase and it's a lot more trusted, what you will want to do is... You, you'll want to find a trusted storage to put your crypto in to so that you can protect your own assets so you don't have to worry about exchanges going down or anything going wrong, especially if you're an investor. I saw some people saying things like, um, what if it pumps up and what if we're trying to sell real quick? Why would we put it in a wallet? Because then we got to try to get it back to an exchange. Well, I mean, with in light of what happened, now you know why why you would put it in a wallet. Because that could happen at any time to any exchange. No exchange is, is exempt from going bankrupt or something tragic happening. No no exchange is exempt from that. So anything can happen. So it's just better to be safe than sorry. But at the same time, me personally, that's why I'm an investor. I take an investing approach. That way I don't have to ever risk. I don't have to ever run the risk of, you know, missing out or something like that. I, I'm invested for the long term. So... When I buy something, I'm going to be selling years later. So that means when I buy something, I believe that what I'm buying is going to be around and it's going to be very valuable years later, which means I'll be able to sell for a much, much higher price. So, yeah, it's going to be fine. It'll, it'll be perfectly fine. And taking that into consideration, I, I, I don't it's not I don't buy I don't sell pumps and stuff like that. I'm not looking to trade now. I do. I am going to get into trading, but I'm going to specifically be, be doing that to learn to trade better and things like that. But that's not investing and trading is two different things. and You have to have a strategy going into either. So make sure you know why you're getting into something. If you're just trying to benefit from pumps and stuff like that, that's more so trading and it's honestly more so gambling. You, you shouldn't be buying things to, to get into pumps. You should be buying things you believe is going to be valuable. You're going to hold for a certain amount of time then you'll be able to sell in profits almost any time, especially if it's something valuable. So, yeah. With that, we are already at the end of the video. I hope the step-by-step -step guide helped you to understand. Yeah, be sure to check out his channel. I'm going to leave the video link down below. He's just doing his outro. But yeah, this was a well-put-together video of the step-by-step -step for how to actually get, these, get the OMI token yourself. This is still a way that works. I actually just bought Omi. When did I buy? I think when it when it dipped down. I didn't I didn't know at the time what it dipped down, like why it was dipping down. But I, I just recently bought it. Um, or, or was it a dip? I don't know. I don't know when exactly I bought it. Let me see. I can actually go and see the date to when I bought it. So go to my Omi. I bought this Omi. Um, when was the date on this? It don't show the date. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this don't show the date. But anyway, uh, yeah, it don't show. I can't see when I swapped it. Oh, swapped right here. Okay, I, I found it. So I swapped my Omi on February 25th. So it was a couple of days ago. Yeah, it was a couple of days. I, so I think it was at the time where it was going down, and I didn't know why it was going down, but I was just like, hey, let me buy a little bit more Omi. So yeah, February 25th. 
is when I, I swapped it. I swapped it from um I swapped it from Ethereum to um Omi. So yeah, let me see my oh snap, my network fee was eleven dollars. What? I ain't even check. I ain't I ain't even checked to be honest. But the network fee they they be taxing, bro. But yeah, anyway. That being said, y'all, um, let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel in the comment section down below. Um, be sure to get a cold storage wallet to protect your own assets. Um, don't don't make the same mistake twice. I'm just saying. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.